What have you been up to, Ariel? Did you? Uh... Who the fuck is Ariel? No question. Does, hold on, settle down. No, okay, just we're gonna. Down. And, and, and again, like this thing episode, someone's gonna say, uh, write a comment saying, "Oh, is there a fourth person in the room?" <laughs> what do you oh, want? What do you want me to say? Do you want me to introduce him? <laughs> are, are you are from you? To, the, the Toronto area? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my next guest uh, is probably from the Toronto area. Right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, I like it. I like that intro. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, but I'm yeah, I'm from like three hours north of okay. uh, Toronto. But so, I lived in Toronto for 12 years. It's really important to know. What that. is what is that place called? North Bay. North Bay. Oh shit! I thought it was going to be like a stolen Indian uh, native name. It is. F- Fusica- North Bay. North Bay. F- fuck you, fuck you, Scr- uh, Saskatchewan. It has to be. Something. It's close. We have a bunch of that shit. Nipissing, yeah. Nipissing area. Right. I went to Whitfield High School, and then there was like Chippewa High right. School. All yeah. that okay. kind of shit. Funny they kill everyone and left the names. This is- that's I know. <laughs> yes, like we did this. We did this. No, guys. we. I mean, we still had Native Americans. It went to my school, and there was a there's a Native reserve nearby. People mm, would buy sure. their cigarettes from there. Yeah, you just so, kind of drive by and wave as they're dying in there. <laughs> <laughs> they were done killing everyone. They're like, leave seven. We need someone to sell cigarettes on the side of the road. I don't, yeah, I don't know because I didn't know about the whole crazy shit where they would take Native Americans and put them up in the north part of Canada. I didn't mm. know that stuff. Yeah, they're like they didn't teach us that okay. in school. I, I, oh, really? <laughs> what a surprise! Yeah. <laughs> and so you know, having a Native Reserve nearby, I just thought, okay, well, that's where they are. And it turns out they put Do them you know in what jails else and reserves? shit. What? Fucking animals? Don't know. <laughs> Animal that's, reserves? Yeah. Also, like, there's wine reserves. So wine. <laughs> oh, yeah, monetary reserves yeah. in the treasury. And the treasury. Yeah, that's right. So I uh, thought of Native Americans as treasures. Aw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they symbolize the country. I don't, I don't know. They yeah, did. Somebody they took, did. Somebody took a Jordan Peterson clip and titled it, mm. like, it's him talking about uh, Soviet gulags or whatever, and the clip is titled, like, they don't teach this. And this is not common knowledge. They don't teach this and what she's saying in American schools or Canadian schools. And, and I'm like, yeah, really? Is that the most important thing that you're concerned that's been omitted from your history is Soviet gulags? Yeah. What about the fucking uh, the Christian schools that were uh, genociding people? But no, 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 no. It's totally uh, com- communism. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. No, the, his phrase is uh, everything he disagrees with. It's cultural Marxism. It's cultural Marxism. The, yeah. what, did you hear Ricky's joke about it? I, like, uh, oh, I did he didn't repeat it again, but he was like doing that voice, and then he was like, "Who is it?" But he just did a Kermit the Frog voice. Oh, right. <laughs> and he was like, "Hi," and he was like, "That is not Kermit the Frog. It's actually yeah. Jordan Peterson." Yeah. I fucked up his joke, but how long I away it. do you think he is from a relapse? Because he's like a proper druggie. He used to be addicted to benzos and stuff. I don't know. Didn't, yeah. he, didn't he just leave rehab like recently or something again? Oh, really? Yeah, like four I think that's what it was, yeah. That's surprising. It's so ironic. This guy is like telling people to get up early and clean up their room. Yeah, get up like, early so you can do more Xanax. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a fucked up thing to, you know, tell everyone how to live your life. and then Early but get the Xannies. Yeah. It's a little bit hypocritical, yeah. I mean, like we're all every fucking but, preacher yeah. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Had you ever. <laughs> <laughs> we just ended at that. Yeah. And that's the end of the podcast. <laughs> You're a preacher. Take your gun. <laughs> Take your gun and shove it into your mouth. No, no stop it. I'm going to forget. I'm trying yeah. to do less editing. The point is to just fucking have it ready. Stay off the topic. I was going to ask Ariel, though, if you had you ever heard of Jordan Peterson before, like 2000, whatever it is, 16 or something? The first time I heard of him was, was, on the, was the, Joe yeah. Rogan. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, so, I only heard of him when you were so, that was. So it turns out he's not a huge internationally renowned psychologist. Uh, no, no, of yeah, course not. Yeah. Who the fuck said no, that? No, I know that. I'm just, no, a lot of people say that. It's like, well, he's a master in his field and he's a. Uh, he wrote one book about <laughs> making your head? bed, brother. That's some basic <laughs> shit. I, I could have told you that and I've never done it in my life. <laughs> Wasn't that I know so, that would be good for me. You've if never I made, made your bed in your life? I have a sick joke. I have a sick joke. If you haven't heard it yet, go. It's so corny, but you'll get it. What did the bed say to a man with schizophrenia? What? Make me. <laughs> what? Wait, why is that? Yeah, I don't oh, know. I just, someone said the phrase oh, make me bed. to me, and I started thinking about it, and I was like, who could. The say bed that? is talking to the him. The bed I get to it. a man with schizophrenia. Because he, he's crazy. Me. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then the next one I can do with Andre's at the show be like, what did the bed say to a man with schizophrenia? I don't know. Ask Andre. That'd be a good one. <laughs>
That's like an inside joke, though, for him. He was on the last episode, so people will get. Oh, okay, okay. If anyone's actually listened to this, they'll get what I'm saying. I don't. I don't get it. Did he? Does he have? Oh, you only cut out an hour and a half out of two hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I had just to cut like half an hour. Yeah. You yeah. but you actually edit the. Yeah, show. I listened to it. I mean, I try to cut as little as possible, but there was just uh, stud, stuff that had to be cut. Um, <laughs> Bad. Will is uncomfortable in the presence of a Jew. Clearly, he's fidgeting <laughs> with his microphone. <laughs> I told you, I'm not really a Jew. Back yeah. down. It's just convenient to use for, for jokes yeah, It's just or a funny word. So I think <laughs> it, it is a funny it, word. It, I don't know. There's Jew. so much Jew? in Poland. There's so much emotional load attached to that yeah. word. That, yeah. Emotional load? They killed a hundred? Yeah, exactly. Know, they killed a million fucking... Yeah, you're well, both wrong on <laughs> wrong on both counts, but yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you're playing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how they, many they, Jews did they kill? Got the know. concepts. They just killed a lot of yeah. Jews. Yeah. yeah, but no, but I'm like it's only half of my family, and I didn't wasn't raised by that half. Sure. Okay, you don't we have to that. justify it. We know that. I'm just like letting you know. <laughs> but I, of course, there's is like part of my yeah. upbringing is a mm. little Jewish. David okay. Cross had the joke where he's like. Uh, it's like, oh, well, I wasn't connected to that culture in any way. But uh, tell me, uh, your your mother's vagina was it Jewish? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> because that's, I mean, that's basically how you delineate, right? Yeah, it's that's, just yeah, for the, for yeah right. Mother, yeah. And my mom's ge- genealogy, Jewish, which is such a it's a weird thing. It's strange. Though. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like only your mom, and then it's like totally doesn't take genetics into account. Or right, anything. your father technically doesn't count, count think, at all. Right? It's yeah. Does uh, do you? How many generations back uh, does your family remember, like, when they moved over to Canada or something? Or uh, I'm the first generation who was born in Canada. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, my dad, my dad moved in 68 to France and then from France to Canada. And then he went back in the, like, early 80s, I think 1980, something like that. To mm-hmm. France? No, back to Poland to visit. Okay. And hitchhiking, he met my mom. Oh, she shit. was on the side of the road just like hey, hey, yeah. Six that's minutes fact. of cheap jokes about Ariel's mom. <laughs> What's she doing there? Picking fucking berries? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> well, back in the day that you actually did hitchhike all the time. And she would literally, yeah. the story is, she would be like, put out her thumb and some guys would stop because she was like an attractive lady. No shit. And she was like, no, not you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and she would pick a guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, oh, yeah. it pretty dangerous. I hitchhiked like once in my life from from warsaw to to wrocław and even then i was kind of like this is pretty iffy i don't know if i'm gonna make it all the way mm. Mm. uh the, probably the funniest it, it took a couple rides obviously but the, the funniest guy that picked me up was obviously somebody who just wanted to talk to anybody and it was a huge man in like a day boutique car some other <laughs> tiny car and he had a bunch of lamps in the back and stuff he had all this luggage i think he was a, a lamp salesman or something but it was it was funny. It was just like it's like me getting into a clown car because it was just occupying seventy <laughs> percent of the the inside of the car. And we, he was just lonely. He was like, I think so. Yeah, He's a fucking lamp salesman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who the fuck? Even the people he visits don't want to talk to him. Obviously, so. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. I mean, salesman life is pretty sad. I, I think that's a di- that's a dying profession as well, right? Yeah, yeah. door to door salesman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Well, I mean, he was probably like a sales representative or something, but I don't think he was going door to door. But yeah, it's the same thing. I, Did you ever a, pick up a hitchhiker, like any of you? No, yeah. I don't. Th- think so because i don't remember doing that either i couldn't trust myself not to kidnap them i think oh yeah you <laughs> wait you just, just be just... like <laughs> i have a body so yeah, might as like, well just well, go get your since and... you're here <laughs> <laughs> what, would you, what would you do just for funsies just to kidnap somebody just, for funsies. just like <laughs> make a turn that i wasn't meant to do towards a forest just see what they do just like start squirming <laughs> May you mean make a turn in your life, an, an, yeah. an irreversible change? Yeah, going down this road. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I, I've never seen anyone try and catch a hike. Anyway. What if they were experienced? Like, what if they got kidnapped before and they know exactly what to do? Then they would guide you. Be like, that makes it a game. Is this your first time kidnapping yeah. me? What the fuck, dude? I don't think also people who have been kidnapped then go hitchhiking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably not. I'm not- like I got kidnapped before, but eh, whatever. So hitchhike time. time. What are the odds? <laughs> get, get kidnapped twice. I feel like reminiscing on that part of my life. That was the <laughs> best time in my. 
<laughs> I remember one time when I was in Saudi Arabia, my hair was long, like it was down to my pecs, yeah. like it was down to my um, elbow, right? And wow. yet he had to come to Poland to get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, no, move Shut on. the fuck up. Whoa. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I went So I was in Saudi Arabia And my hair was down to my elbow And then um, this guy I was hitchhiking And it wasn't like hitchhiking for Like from city to city It was just literally from one f- The beginning in, uh, the beginning of the block Till the end of the block And it was a long like 10 minutes walk And I'm like I'm not gonna walk these 10 minutes I'm just gonna hitchhike and right. I just hitchhiked with this guy who was like 70 years old. Yeah. And he's like in his JMC in his Ghutra and Da'gal. And he passes oh, yeah, one next of those. Yeah. yeah, of course, you know, it's the Ghutra and Da'gal. Anyways, so he comes in and he's like, jump in, young lady. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I get in. And usually women don't sit in the front. They sit at uh-huh. the back. But I'm not a woman, so he sat in the front, and now he's having conversation, but he's very, very awkward. He's like, you shouldn't be hitchhiking, young mm-hmm. lady. And he, like, <laughs> he saw your face? He saw my face, but apparently he didn't see my mustache. And Wait, you had a mustache? Oh, I did. had a big-ass mustache, yeah, and a beard. He didn't see any of that. He just saw my hair. And he's like, you shouldn't hitchhike, young lady. And I didn't even talk, because the moment I say my name or anything, he's going to be like, there's a fucking guy next to me. And the entire 10 minutes, I just sat and it was... And, and he was anything. scalding you the whole time being like, No, no, he was just like, Astaghfirullah, young lady, you know, you can't do that. And I'm like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did he look at you? <laughs> <laughs> Were you pretending to be... <laughs> I'm like, this is scary. He With didn't you. even see me. Did he look over at you once? Or With my just... hair, I'm just looking at the window. I'm just giving him the side of my hair. He can't <laughs> even see. That's until the... I just like, Shukran! <laughs> <laughs> and I just left when when he dropped me. I was like, "Peter, please." <laughs> he never. Kn- that's he never. A, I don't know. I don't think he ever knew. That's yeah. such a weird story. It was man. so weird. It Wait, was would so have awkward. would have been more awkward if he saw that you were a man? It's like I mean, yeah. You, it, why was because it? Because then you start hitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. But I don't know. I was like, okay, let's let's just go with it. like it's only sure. five minutes in this ride. Yeah. I'm just. It's like the entire ride is just like what five minutes. Yeah. By car, so I'm like, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. And that up. was the first and last time you, you ever did I that? I hitchhiked, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've definitely seen, I don't know, when we were on tour uh, doing stand up, I've seen people that wanted to get picked up, but usually it was, we already had too many motherfuckers yeah, in the that's car. When in I the would car. Pick them up. That was yeah, but we something. didn't have room. It would have been f- funny, but I guess, but we usually didn't have room. There's like five people in the car. I almost got in a fight with one of the guys in the car one time because they, they wouldn't, sh- they were doing horrible, like, puns. And just like awful jokes, Who? Uh, like two comedians. It doesn't really matter, but it's it's not. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> their person. I think it was it was mostly Wojtek Fedorczuk and Michał Kempa, which is uh, you know another people. If if people are listening specific to specific type of humor, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I think it was like there was a theme. It was like a theme. Somebody would come up with a word or phrase, and they would just do we do jokes on that theme for whatever five minutes and obviously it gets mm-hmm. tiresome after four mm-hmm. and they were doing it for like 15 20 minutes and i was asking them to stop but they wouldn't stop and i was sitting right next to them squished in and i just wanted to fucking pummel one of them but uh wait did you get so, in a fu- fist fight with them no obviously not but i was close i was i was close to fucking smacking them i was <laughs> like and it, w- it would have been i didn't want to have to do anything i didn't know I just, you were capable of those emotions emotions obviously uh, absolutely but i don't act on them usually, have you ever so. gotten in a fist fight no not for a very long time usually people would start fights with me so it was just if that ever <laughs> happened it was just me you know like a defensive i don't like i don't know how to fight very well and i don't like to i don't like confrontation too much so yeah yeah sure no it was like the last time i remember any kind of altercation was like in school it was like people picking on me or something right right when you're like really young yeah yeah my teens or something okay mm. so it's still a teenager fight because it's different yeah. when you're like seven years old and Two kids are fighting. It's like yeah, well, not seven, it. like maybe fifteen or something. But yeah, I used to fuck him up when I was seven. I had a head on all of them. Like <laughs> yeah. six you were the biggest kid in the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, were you a bully? No, no, no. I got bullied. I That's what bullied. all bullies say. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> <just> <laughs> yeah, you got bullied. 
God damn. And try and bully someone. No, I just bully you guys as much as I can. Right? <laughs> but I make it up now. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Actually, I got picked on because I came from Poland. Same. Yeah. What else? And but it was in Canada, and like, but I was also way bigger than them. Yeah. So by the it would be like five guys circling me, but it was we were all seven years old. So it's like they would try and push, and I would throw them at each other, and I would win these fights because it's like no one's fighting really; you're just pushing, yeah, kind of thing. But I came. The you're reason like they're... Steven Seagal, you're yeah, just like, like Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but like getting out of the way. The reason they were picking on me, I came straight from Europe in Canada, and I had these uh, like tight leggings that were jean print. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so like like you know spandex pants yeah. jean print and i was like these are so cool but in canada they're like what the fuck is this weird what? european kid Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. and then by the end of the year i was just polish my clothes were normal but, uh, <laughs> that was polish I, was, I, I, that was... I, I didn't stand up for myself until really late and i don't know why if i could go through my childhood again i would punch every single person that was mean to me including my racist math teacher uh, race racist yeah math i was teacher. bigger than him it was about butter size yeah, yeah, yeah. When I came to school, he was, uh, you know, this guy would make comments to a kid that didn't really speak or understand English. Mm. But then I, like, crushed maths. I was, like, two textbooks ahead because we were a year ahead in maths in Poland for some reason. So then he shut the fuck up. Oh. And I looked like a genius. Oh, because this was in England. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So there's no, were, were you the only minority, I guess, or something? Or there's no other brown kids to pick on or something? Um don't recall so much but yeah there's probably a couple indian kids always yeah but uh you try and block that <laughs> from your memory you don't remember. no i really i know there's, there's a lot of repressed <laughs> memories i really don't yeah don't remember i don't, I don't, I don't fuck anymore <laughs> yeah, i was 11 you know, dude. all right all right uh, all right man no need to be defensive just asking just asking yeah i just remember being made fun of a little bit initially when i can speak english that well like i'd i'd say the th with a regular f and that was like enough for for people to notice or something. I'd be like six. <laughs> so funny. That's like the, that's the amount of uh, I guess uh, uh, prejudice and or whatever aggression you get from these fucking weak no, ass weak ass on. white kids in the suburbs. <laughs> what? No, I go spat on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, England's a little more hardcore, I guess. Yeah, they invented racism after all. That's I guess that's true. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's England. Like proper yeah. subjugating fucking. The human, I don't know, I guess there were slaves in ancient Egypt. It was, I mean, <laughs> yeah, arguably it might have been like the the Spanish and the Italians that were first. But yeah, I think that whole ideology was like uh, fucking Darwin's brother and all these other fucks. Uh, he was, uh, I can't remember his name. He was a big, uh, like, phrenology guy. Phrenology. I know who you're talking about, phrenology. Yeah, like so shape of skulls and stuff. Yeah, yeah. About oh. shape of skulls and black people have dimples on the skull here, which means they're stupid yeah, or Yeah, that's something. so and dumb. And I brain mean, volume and all that bullshit. But yeah, it was a big thing. People treated it seriously, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phrenology. That's phrenology, such a dumb yeah. thing. I don't know if it even had a name back then, but yeah. It was yeah you just see the shape of the person's Yeah, you yeah, have those yeah, little, yeah, like, yeah, and, dimples and shit. And they were like, these are not humans. These are something else. But Because the woman's brains are smaller, so that right black people have dimples apparently because the the three black skulls he looked like had yeah yeah exactly <laughs> there was a scientist yeah, yeah. in the 20th century that i think even fabricated that stuff like there was a why not there's an anthropological find that i think was fairly recognized and then it turned out that they just created that skull somebody fucking made a why plaster uh, oh, really? model so yeah complete not only complete bullshit even if yeah. it was I mean, Unreal. you know, it's... Uh, what difference does it make? It's complete bullshit anyway. It doesn't really matter, yeah. It's I mean, such a crazy thing to... I know. You just have those, like, pinchers, and you put it over a person. Right, yeah. Like, you yeah. are stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all that happened? Like, That's what you exactly telling? what happened. Sorry, you're it's, dumb. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I think you're dumb with your stupid Send him back to the gulag! Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. Uh, That's exactly. so weird. That's such a weird thing. I wonder yeah. what... Do you guys know any other, like, ancient, uh, like, lost technologies that are completely useless because that's probably the biggest one i think oh, bloodletting maybe yeah bloodletting lobotomies oh, yeah. i mean a lot of early medicine right, right? lobotomies is like it's 1960s oh yeah, yeah. Still your whole... i think they jfk's still... sister had a lobotomy she was a fucking oh, vegetable really? for the rest of her life yeah yeah I she was they... a vegetable for the rest of yeah, yeah they had to look her up put her away hide her away awesome. jfk's you know the american president's like a shot sister yeah she had I don't remember what she had. Maybe maybe she had epilepsy, but I don't recall. But maybe she was just a bit sad. 
So uh-huh. they cut her fucking brain in half, and that that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. <laughs> so yeah. she was, uh, she was. That's a, one flew over the cuckoo's nest she, thing. Yeah, they yeah. had to. I think they still use away. it in in some cases, but I don't know really what for. Yeah, but it's not like I don't think they remove her entire part of your brain, but they do like drill in there and make make some changes, but some slight know. adjustments, customization, like put some flames yeah, on the yeah. side, fucking cleaver right in the middle. <laughs> That's what they did to JFK. It's like I, this is like a, the brain is like a hard drive. Let's smelt some stuff in this. It's like no, it doesn't work. This you way. seen what Elon Musk is doing? That fucking autistic monster. He's putting <laughs> like the the binary yeah. chips and yeah. stuff. Yeah, he's been talking about it since 2014. Yeah, but this guy is going to open the gates of, uh, of hell, hell yeah. including AIs, and they're gonna no, no, all no, that's already, look that's like already done. This... that's nothing to do with him. I already passed that point. Like, there is right now like independent autonomous drones being used. Where, like a drone will, like they think they used them in Libya in some conflict where a drone like found, identified, and killed a target without any human interaction. That's not a t- problem of tomorrow. It's a it's like an it's, AI drone, just yeah. be like this is a Libya, threat. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. the UN just hasn't banned it. They had a resolution on it on autonomous weapons, mm. on autonomous AI weapons, yeah. and they didn't ban them. So they were like, "Oh, how we many yeah. head counts do you have?" <laughs> yeah, we finished. Unless, I mean, that's the funniest thing because all algorithms <laughs> are racist. I don't know if you know this, but all algorithms are racist oh, yeah, from Snapchat this. filters. Right. Well, yeah, they're like mostly else. created by they're from because they're mostly created by white people, and then bias <laughs> actually transfer because you, this is true. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I think there's a whole documentary fact, on it now. You're fucked. No, <laughs> <laughs> we chilling. By the way, there is like cyber war that is happening. Remember when no, the yeah, ATMs obviously. all over all over Warsaw hasn't been working? Yeah, that might be because of the cyber war that's been launched from Russia. Wait, that wasn't oh, that wasn't because people were just pulling out cash yeah, I like think that was crazy. Yeah, just a bank run. People were yeah, just there was like out a cash goddamn. Cash. I Which... wanted to believe in that theory, guys. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but, it's, maybe, but I think the part that uh, <laughs> yeah. the idea that we're gonna run out of cash or whatever oh. was Russian propaganda, and then people bought it. And then they're like, you know, pulling out cash. What, I don't mm. even know what the fuck that was supposed to do, but yeah, yeah. I heard that there was, my friend was like, he's trying to buy weed and he couldn't get cash because there's fucking no, <laughs> no, yeah. a, all the ATMs were empty in the area. Yeah, uh, we were, we were taking out money for bread. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just for the parking. Yeah, but for me, it was like four, four ATMs when they didn't work in a row. I was yeah, running around this. Yeah. It was so weird. I think this Elon Musk, he, he's going places. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he's been there and back. I he's don't know. been at places. Yeah, I, I mean, I have high I hopes mean, for that guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to do some stuff. It's a pretty beat and overused premise, but what does it say about the earth that all the richest and powerful people are desperately trying to leave it? No. Right. Yeah, sure. I also think, like, I mean, going up to another planet. If you are fucking it's up the cool, planet, right? it is cool, right? It is cool. I mean, that is cool. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's very Yo, let's cool. look at all that destruction <laughs> from yeah. this. From this. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, shit. Look, the Amazon is <laughs> fucked, boy. <laughs> Have you ever seen Google Earth? Imagine if you had that shit outside your window. You could just look out. <laughs> <laughs> and spit spit down at people. Like, it was cool spitting at people from, like, the 10th floor, right? Imagine doing that shit from, like, Mars or from whatever. A fucking, from a <laughs> telescope. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Meanwhile, wow. you're listening to Enya behind you, know, <laughs> you just <laughs> kidnap Enya in like a hostage situation and sing bitch sing. why Enya I don't know it's just kind of royally kinda. I don't know, you just you just model her in AI and like yeah she won't talk back is Enya still around I don't know I even... think so I don't know her consciousness know. is at least yeah <laughs> that's the who can say what that do exactly I love, I love Enya yeah. I mean who Enya. doesn't <laughs> yeah. Enya, it's a good poll though yeah it's such a random singer that you pulled up though. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a good background noise for, for yeah, somebody taking over the Just world the earth is exploding mm. right right yeah like whenever there's an evil guy in a movie or something they always have this ominous music right mm. why don't they listen to like ultimate relaxation compilation yeah. like, the raindrops yeah chill pop yeah. yeah those like jazz euro pop that the shits that you like here in cafes like and cafe elevators car- like dun, 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 dun. lo-fi yeah <laughs> 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 nuclear doom in lo-fi beats compilation to take over the planet <laughs> i bet you when the first nuclear bomb drops somebody's gonna take the sound and remix it into it's a song a, like oh. in like less than a minute just be like just let me do this last thing for humanity. 
Oh God, I, I really. We're, we won't have nuclear war though. It'll be fine, right, guys? No, <laughs> right? I think it's I think it's unlikely, but yeah. All right, it is good. very, very likely and not likely at the same time. I've had a good year. I mean, it. it's been so many. Me too. <laughs> oh, that's it's nice. been decades where we had <laughs> more more weapons than we do now. I mean, we, yeah. uh, whoever the fuck has not the, us, yeah, yeah, but it's like not who's us, higher but, than you us, know, yeah. like just people in general, and nothing's really happened. So I don't know. Um, the world is huge, <laughs> no shit, and God. there's a very small button yeah, <laughs> that yeah. can make all of that huge no, bowl into um, cheese. Yeah, I was gonna start the the podcast with uh, like a challenge, like how long can we talk without talking about the war? And it's just it, it took about yeah, twenty six yeah, minutes, thirty one seconds. Twenty six minutes. Uh, <laughs> we had to bring it up. We had to yeah. bring it up. Sure. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about opening a, a Twitter account or something where you just post like the most annoying f- photos of like things you've done, like uh, all these really old, full of holes clothes that you like give out to poor people and like brag about it and shit, you know, to like, just like piss people off. Look at all the charity I'm doing. <laughs> and this is like old underwear we, and shit. You know, we, 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 we were, well, we are doing charity, giving all the ticket money to Ukraine, right? Yeah. It didn't stop me from making a Ukrainian woman cry at the first day show. Oh my god, really? Wait, did you actually say, stop framing it this way? You didn't make her cry. Well, what stop pointing finger at yourself. It wasn't my joke. It wasn't a joke, but I I did make her cry. What did what happened? I don't remember her crying. So Oh she's just calling her a kind of he's (laughs) You You Ukrainian there was one maybe I no, I think I was there the whole so time. So Ukrainian lady sat in the second row, It was row, just right? one Ukrainian. Behind the talkative Turkish guy. Yeah, you, you asked. Know, you grinded in his face. Right. You sure. asked if there were any Ukrainian yeah, people. And there was one. She was and one. Jasmine referenced my joke in some way. She said, oh, the other day another comedian said that Ukrainians are the Mexicans of Poland or something <laughs> like that. Uh-huh. And then she moved on to her joke. And then I was hosting, obviously. So I went on and I sat down. I was like, what I was trying to say. Because she mangled my joke. Yeah, it of wasn't, course. That wasn't all I said. Right, 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 right. Because that's a, you know, that's a vaguely <laughs> racist thing. But the setup is that Polish people were the Mexicans of Europe when m- my family was leaving. And my yeah. family's still fucking Mexicans in the UK. And then it goes into the liberation and consideration about who's going to be the Mexicans of Ukraine. And that is, you know, it's a process. It's really an insightful commentary on the progress of the European <laughs> continent. Very, huh? very, very quiet. In the past trash. several decades. Um, um, yeah, but she cried, didn't it? Wait, she- <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wait, that- wow. She lit- it, was right before, it was right before the break. It was right before the break. I finished. And I said that whole joke and I look at it and I'm like, yo, this shit's not funny, guys. No. Uh, let's cut it. Because she had like a serious face. And then we go for the break and then someone's like, yo, that girl's crying, you know. Oh. Wait, so you didn't actually see her cry. Someone just no, said No, no, no. Someone said she's outside yeah. crying. So ah, that person's lying. We went and, you know, we, we took like a dose. I was like, you okay with the fuck? Uh, are you okay with the fuck? <laughs> you, you, talk, you talk to her? The yeah, fuck, we talked to her. The fuck is wrong with you? I don't want anybody to go home of course, my shows doing that. Like, Anyway, the joke is not even bad. It's a good joke. <laughs> and we talked to her, and she was like, Oh, you know, it's because I held refugees at the border for the past whatever two weeks, and this yeah. is my only day off. And I came here. <laughs> and sure, I, and I, like, I apologized, but I didn't apologize. I didn't apologize for the joke because I never will. Yeah. But I said, Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it brought up those feelings. It was insensitive timing, maybe. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And then she stayed for the second half and had a, had a good time, reportedly. Okay. Um, so. You know, I mean, safe. yeah, it's really easy, it's easy to get emotional when you're like dealing with that stuff yeah, on a daily course, basis man. now, like, you know. and people are inundated with it because it's when it's people like, are really dead. It's, it's real, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah and, and it probably uh, wasn't even about the joke. It's just talking about yeah, Ukraine also, in general. You know, yeah, exactly. It was, uh, you know, it was it was it was factually incorrect, you know, because Mexicans were never war refugees, so there was no <laughs> link. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just she just heard the word Ukraine. She's like, fuck. No, you're right. They were never refugees. They just had to fucking live there where the war took place. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Because nobody... (laughs) Nobody... It's their land. They're not going to fucking go anywhere. Hey, combatant, these white devils, we're going to stay here. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, there's like a hundred years of war probably on the... (laughs) Mexico and Texas. So she even came on Sunday, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Because I'm not good with remote. Because like now I try to talk to everyone after the show. Because I've noticed we have so many people coming back. There was mm. somebody on Sunday, they said they've been to yeah. five shows. And we've done like 15 shows in the past six months. Right, right. 
Um, so they came back like, to five times to an open mic. Yeah, they came back to Barbazar five times. Yeah, and this time they brought like seven friends. Oh, nice. So you know, I, I try and talk to everyone after the show, and uh, yeah, I don't remember the faces anymore. But did I, you tell them about us horrible? Huh? Uh, did you tell them about this horrible, insensitive podcast that we do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nope. we often forget. But yeah, yeah. Um, I do not. I'm I actually, purposely I'm, don't tell people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually preparing something big, uh, which I might pull the trigger on today, which is a complete rebrand of the whole thing, and then like we'll we'll put the podcast front and center well, well that's not a good idea but okay yeah <laughs> i think it is though no bro you don't realize that we're actually pretty entertaining at this no no i agree <laughs> with that i just think it's a i don't agree with that <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think i think it's like i think it's entertaining to to people like me whose brains have been kind of fried by comedy where it's like yeah for me it's okay to say almost anything as long as it's funny i don't think most people are like that you know what i mean that's all i'm saying Nah, like, we yeah. good we good the people <laughs> that come to the shows when they listen to it they love it well i mean if you if you are talking on a podcast and they find out if you just say anything or whatever, you're just being mean, then that's one thing. But it's another thing to, for people to know where you're coming from. Like you're saying you're sorry for the, you know, you didn't want her to feel bad. Yeah, of course yeah. not. Shit yeah. like that, you know, that's but I'm not you apologizing that, for a joke itself. Yeah, but she, she didn't want an apology from you yeah. anyway, so. Exactly, yeah. But there's no context on the podcast. I try to keep serious talk to a minimum. So we just <laughs> yeah. say, yeah, yeah, we yeah. say some racist and all. then we move on. Okay. That's exactly, yeah. Well, that's, this is how last it is. Last week we had a 47-minute discussion about uh, police <laughs> militarization. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, impending consequences. Uh, this is how it goes. Yeah. Jews in Auschwitz. Ha ha ha. All right. Jokes, jokes. Then bother. Tell me ghost stories. Ghost <laughs> stories. Very funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, Wait, is this a real prompt? Or did you guys talk about this? No, no. <laughs> I mean, yes. I think so. So there was... A, uh, w- okay. okay. I have three ghost stories. One oh, in shit. Syria. Awesome. One in Saudi Arabia. Wow. One in Poland. Amazing. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with the one in Poland. Okay. No, let me. No, go chronologically. Man. Chronologically, which is Saudi Arabia. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's your life. I have no idea what's Time. going on. Chronologically <laughs> means Saudi Arabia first. That's the meaning <laughs> of that I guess, word. Yeah, I that's mean, where humanity started. Yeah, in it's Asia. the oldest country, Duh. right? I guess. No, it's know. not. It's no. not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, in Saudi Arabia, we used to see. Um, we used to see my father used to see this white lady completely white dressed in white um, in the kitchen Mm. and he told me that when I was Mm. 11 years old uh, we were watching a very scary movie Uh and my father was like oh that reminds me um, (laughs) I used to always see this white lady in the kitchen she was just actually a marketing executive from Plymouth (laughs) (laughs) yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an expat. <laughs> I would you like to buy some detergent? <laughs> white lady, white, white lady, oh, she's a white lady. Come see, come see. But yeah, he told me that, and then I had a lot of questions. I was like, so what? Wait, what? There's a white lady in our kitchen. He was like, yeah, there's a white lady, um, dressed in all white. I uh, used to see her when I was a kid, um, in my kitchen, which was a completely different city. Nah, and the house bullshit. and uh-huh. everything and i'm like okay um i'm just gonna go to bed i guess <laughs> <laughs> and that's that it night, night. Did, did you, so you never saw the white lady i never saw the white lady but i always had a phobia that whenever i go to the kitchen not the white lady is gonna show up but for some reason gorillas are gonna like uh, Wait, crash white gorillas? Like, yeah like gorilla gorilla is gonna crash no but from white the gorillas because that's even oh, no, no, not white gorillas. Gor- like in the oh, congo it's movie it's like oh, yeah, gorillas. Yeah. it's a sweet movie <laughs> oh yeah i've seen that movie <laughs> yeah yeah the white gorillas in the mountain yeah yeah is the movie where it traumatized me because there was a scene where um the gorilla comes into the guy and they snap their oh, heart yeah and the guy is still living and i'm i was still a kid but i was like I, from what I know from biology, <laughs> yeah. this does not really count, but this is terrifying. Yeah. It's like seeing a chicken, but instead of a chicken, it was a guy. Yeah. And that terrified He's me. He's still moving. I don't remember that movie. I kind of want to watch it again now. I'm sure Gorillas. it's really, ba- it was was really it called? bad, right? What was but Congo. Movie? Congo. It was just called Congo. Oh, Congo. Yeah. Okay. All, been... all white people's fears boiled into one. Af- <laughs> Dark Africa and gorillas. Dark Africa, and... Congo. <laughs> An albino, but they ghost. also had like the uh, gorilla who could talk that had like a sign language suit, 
So when it would do sign language, it would talk. I don't really? remember the yeah, details. It was Amy. It. Wait, like, there was a talking gorilla. There was a oh, talking yeah, there gorilla. Oh, there's like one friendly one. One right? friendly okay, gorilla okay, who yeah, was like hanging out mm. yeah. and talking to people and basically just saying full sentences. Yeah, but... and then got hired as a greeter in Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly. But okay, wait, but. <laughs> But wait, was the Congo movie the reason you had gorilla <laughs> dreams? No, 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 no. Oh, just, I just yeah, yeah. Did you ever? And it wasn't it? even like a dream. It was like a, a legit fear that I was afraid every time I go to the kitchen alone, a gorilla is gonna snap from the balcony and just go. Were there even ape shit. gorillas in Saudi no. Arabian like zoos or no, anything? No, it's just a rational yeah. fear. I don't know where the fuck it came That's from. Such a weird fear. It's just the fear of me being so tiny and the gorilla was so big and so furious <laughs> that was like I don't know. <laughs> But there's no gorillas in the country you're living in. Exactly. Which I don't know if it... I, I, I have no clue. So hey, it's like speaking, me, me I need to like, speak with a psychiatrist about this idea. Yeah, maybe. But it's like, oh, I'm scared of sharks like flying at me from like the window. Yeah. It's like this can't happen. Right. Exactly. But, well, most fears are pretty irrational, right? I mean, pho phobias or whatever. Yeah, there's like a fear of ducks watching sure, you all yeah. the time. It's like an actual fear that ducks? a lot of people... Yeah. Like, uh, there's a Google it. There's a, I don't know what the fuck is called. Duck phobia or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay. sure but that's it's like, what it's called. Yeah. Uh, some people fear that. Quackophobia. They, they feel that they're. <laughs> <laughs> Quackophobia. <Yeah. laughs> they feel that there's a duck always watching them at all times. <laughs> and ducks are rapists, so that's scary. They are kind of Ducks are rapists. Ducks are fucking rapists. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. There is no mode of duck breeding that is not gang rape. <laughs> I That's think, just the culture. I think rape oh. is just kind of big in the animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's just the norm, I, I mean, guess. Only the last few years we phased it out. I mean, uh, it was also, just called it was just called conquest before. Also, what looks like duck rape could just be regular duck sex. Yeah. <laughs> we can never tell. Old ducks are into tell. BDSM. Yeah, you never, exactly. You never know what the ducks are into. Do they have safe words? Like, <laughs> 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 No, that's bad. <laughs> oh, the feathers on my head! <laughs> quick, quick! <laughs> I like that duck phobia because it's a, only one duck yeah. staring at you. It's not yeah. like it's just, when you walk past ducks, you're like, "Oh, these motherfuckers are gonna get." No, me. it's just one duck, <laughs> <laughs> and it can fly and swim, and they can go and land, and just staring at you. Like, yeah. it's not like they're afraid of it eating you or something. Oh shit! Yeah, they are. Airborne, waterborne, Everything. and landborne rapists. Thank God yeah, that they're they not dive. bigger than us. If they yeah. are, we would be <laughs> annihilated. Wait, do you have this phobia? How do you know about this phobia? I just I checked it out. <laughs> right when you... googling gorillas flying in from a balcony to a kitchen. <laughs> Did you mean ducks uh, stalking you? Ducks. Yeah. Hey, speaking yeah. of the Saudi Arabian zoos, do you know that uh, uh, famous orangutan that drives around in the golf cart? In the golf cart. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, totally. You guys never seen it on YouTube? It's, no, it's, it's like great. a meme. No, I, I love him. He's like I think his name is Rambo or something, which makes it even funnier. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure, I mean, there's obviously somebody filming in the golf cart usually mm. with them, but I'm pretty sure that orangutan actually drives the golf cart oh, that's better so than most drivers. Like, he's chill, like, yeah. he's on the lane and he's taking turns I've and stuff, he's checking out this. the tiger cage as he's yeah. driving by. People are putting all kinds of music in the background, like from Phil Collins in the air tonight to like the Sopranos theme song and shit. It's fucking great. <laughs> Do you know the story behind him or anything? Not really. I just think it's like some rich guy who has a bunch of wild animals, yeah. but I really don't know. Wait, the orangutan is rich? God <laughs> Yeah, Whoa. He's, he's actually the zoo warden. Yeah. <laughs> so first of all, Saudi Arabia, gives, uh, Saudi Arabia gives citizenship to an AI and then an orangutan. <laughs> yeah. But not women. Oh. <laughs> is it in Saudi Arabia? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in, in the Gulf. I'm pretty sure it's in Dubai because you can yeah, see maybe. the, the oh, buildings maybe. in the. Okay. He's the one that influence changed. They were in government like, "Hey, fuck it, we let gorilla drive. How about we just let those women?" Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, might as well. Gorillas yeah. can do. I'm sure these bitches. Can Wait, do. check the sex of that orangutan. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason it gets to drive because it's male. Yeah. Um, uh, great ghost story, by the. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I don't gorillas. think I have. Uh, I don't have like I didn't see a ghost I never saw ghosts because because of I think my father's fear and in Islam we really believe ghosts exist right. not ghosts but jinns and jinns oh, right. they're like mischievous where, yeah right? they just grant you wishes not all of them no it's, it's not like fucking Aladdin that's the white version of jinns okay <laughs> yeah, the yeah. real version of jinns real yeah exactly <laughs> real 
So they were here before humans even existed. Yeah. And like, they oh, ruled over beings. the earth. This is what they say, right? right? They ruled over the earth. Okay. And there was a big fight between jinns and angels. Angels came in and genocided the shit out of jinns. Genocide. Genocide. Did you not realize you said that? I thought yeah, you no, did that on purpose. <laughs> Oh, okay. actually, actually, I very much did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so right, they genocided solid. everyone, mm -hmm. and now there are good jinns and bad jinns. Now, jinns, if you really imagine in your brain and be like, I want to see a jinn, I want to see a jinn, I want to see a jinn, you're going to see a jinn, and once you see a jinn, you're not going to see anything in your life. You're going to be so afraid that your brain is going to fry from just seeing the horrifying oh, thing that you're going to see. And oh. that was told to me when I was nine years old. So an Jesus. average person. Your parents have like some pension for. It's Islam. It's Islam, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> it's scary yeah. shit. Yeah, and I thought Catholicism was bad, but. No. Nah. So <laughs> supernatural. Anything super. Till now, I can't watch anything supernatural. Okay, I can't okay. think. Even if I am alone in my house, like every every thought in my head is like. Wow, jeans. Think <laughs> about it. It's not suicide. Like, if I go on top of a cliff, you would hear your brain jump. No, yeah. when I go alone, <laughs> my brain is like, think about jeans. <laughs> wow. Talk That's about jeans in a bathroom. <laughs> That's where they spawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. This is not funny, guys. This is serious. <laughs> in the bathroom, that's where they spawn. Yeah, that's where they yeah, yeah. seriously. That's in the, the real. Bathroom. Wait, is that also in the tales? Like, only not in, in the bathrooms? tales, motherfucker. It's in the like. It's actual. When yeah. you go so to if a you bathroom, have a, if you have only a shower and not a bathtub, you're cool. They can't come yeah, out. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if it's the room where you go pee pee poo poo, ooh, bro, oh. take it. <laughs> we have actually a saying that no it's not way. it's like it's not like written in the Quran but it's something that's preferable before you do anything in Islam you get to say something Be for example before I drink something I'm going to say bismillah before I'm going to eat something I'm going to say bismillah mm -hmm. after I do something I'm going to say alhamdulillah whatever before I go to sleep I say something after I wake up I say something there's always something to say to God right yeah, and to yeah. praise him or whatever before going to the bathroom, you have something to say so that you may you don't make the devils or the demons who live in the bathroom kind of manipulate you to do something. And I never understood that as a kid. I was like, huh. what are they going to do? And I figured out masturbation. Yeah, yeah that yeah, is one of the things, I guess, I guess, I don't know. Right? Like so far, nothing happened oh, until man. now. So jinns have taken over my life. Yeah. yeah, don't think about that. Like, <laughs> seriously, bro. Well, so jinns are just there to make you masturbate. masturbate. <laughs> yeah, it's so... not jinns. That's our demons. It's oh, different things. Different, different yeah, kind yeah, of things. Allah okay. has the best, biggest fucking ego in the world. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, next to Allah, is a <laughs> humble guy. <laughs> you mean Kanye West? <laughs> yeah, Kanye West yeah, yeah. is a humble guy next to Allah. But that's uh, so jinns basically form in the bathroom, make you masturbate. Yes. No, no, no. Even That's horrifying. These are different, just demons. Different kind of demons. Demons make you masturbate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are good like, jinns and there are yeah. bad jinns. Yeah. When you see a good jinn, the good jinn is not going to do anything to you. Do, can but he help you out? Or he just doesn't jinn? do anything? Like what? In a quest? In a movie? Well, this a, is not the movie, Ariel. No, but if he's a good jinn, <laughs> yeah. he could do something good. If, if, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he can introduce you to the other good jinns and have a party. <laughs> okay, all right. But, Turn your hand around when you choke off. I'm just like a different person. <laughs> yeah. It will That's feel so much gin. better. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like teaching you techniques. Sit on your hand <laughs> before you jerk off. It feels like a stranger. <laughs> Eat her ass. Eat her ass. <laughs> That's a good jinn. That's a good jinn, sorry. Yeah, but the bad jinns, oh, bro, you got to take care of them. <laughs> by not thinking of them ever yeah yeah exactly i Man, think they so used should... some of that in the in the witcher i don't know if that was in the in the books but in the game there was like i think they still had the granting you wishes part but it was also like it's attached to you now and it will fuck with you unless you like mm. do something to take the curse off yeah oh wow yeah uh but i've never i, I don't have i've never heard of jins in, in like polish slav culture or whatever yeah. i don't know yeah, you guys don't we, have we, it. We, have... we do have a lot of fucking like demons uh, like the Slavic... little creatures that fuck with you like you know they... folk kind yeah, of yeah yeah they move, yeah, they move shit around the house and like yeah. uh, Ukrainian oh, yeah, yeah. Like, like the little tiny trolls Ko or... or whatever yeah. like little goblins or whatever we have it like biblical yeah. like if you believe in god and heaven and hell mm -hmm. you have to believe in these yeah. stuff it's not like oh it's just a folk story 
someone said it right, or might made it up. No, this is actually legit. serious, which makes everything so scary. Right, right. So when I brought up the ghost, I had no idea about this, but I was just, mm. I just think it's fun yeah, ghost yeah. stories. But for you, you're like, fuck ghosts. No, anything supernatural. Yeah. No, thank you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna. All right, all right. Pass. I think what? that. Jeez. Oh no! I just think that uh, like angels, like the way uh, white Christians depict angels, is usually like you know long, flowy hair and wings and shit. But I think the angels that are actually described in the Old Testament are really terrifying. They have like multiple eyes all yeah, over. Yeah, just, just all eyes. Yeah, it's like uh, I don't think anybody ever pays too much mind. We just cherry pick whatever we like, from that <laughs> yeah. shit. and then uh, what? It's just it's just eyes. Like the angels. No, no, but just... they're much more terrifying. They're not human like like they are oh, depicted okay. usually like they look like creepy demons basically but yeah yeah i guess it's a similar i background. think there's there's some demonology in the old testament but who yeah. reads that shit i don't know that's why i think uh, during uh, according to the bible um or i don't know according to what but as far as i know the first words to humans were like do not be afraid which is like, dude, you're so scary. <laughs> wow, thank that's you. What like, I, that's what I say to hitchhikers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wasn't afraid until you mentioned that. Shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah. What? Well, but what would be a better like first words? Hi, I guess. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> no, I come in peace, like something. But oh, yeah. don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Of I wasn't. <laughs> It's just a couple Imagine of... Archangel okay, Gabriel came down to us. Hey, Walk one, my G. You cool, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you blessed. Ah, you blessed. I shot that shit in. <laughs> Just pass a joint. I don't know. Why does every religion require submission by fear? I don't know. It's so weird because that's... I think that's it the one thing that... comes with the authority later. I don't mm. know. I feel like it's held back this great nation. The Polish people are Yeah, that's the problem. Go out it's and not, do no, for real. <laughs> not <laughs> alcoholism and fucking PTSD Fair and stuff. PTSD no. from, from two world wars and yeah. communism. But I feel like this uh, Polish concept of pokora, humility, and, yeah. you know, the submission holds people back. Yeah, there's. Oh, is that. that why, like, Polish people are shy, like, won't. Yeah, like come up to me and say, "Oh, wow, you're really tall," or something like that. <laughs> because really... It's because of the Bible. Yes, yeah, because yeah. the Bible actually. Yeah, yeah like they keep to themselves mostly tall. and aren't. Thinking Maybe to... that's part of it. Yeah, I think I, in Poland, it's more, you're more likely to see uh, confidence is arrogance. Where in in America, it's like confidence is something you Polish need to have. Have this thing right. like, oh, oh, I have a roof over my head. I have a job that brings money every month. God has blessed me. Yeah. Whereas it's like. Like I, f I feel it like holds people back, but it's definitely yeah, it's just... a, I don't know if it's biblical, but it's definitely a catechism thing. Like yes. there's a lot of stuff in catechisms that it's like you have to respect your elders, you have to respect the, the church right. folk, mm -hmm. obviously, even if they do bad things because they have the power of authority. And there's that because like I've, I've read stuff uh, when translating or whatever. There's like. Uh, you should respect rich people. Uh, you know, even if they yeah. fucking smack you with a stick, you know they're rich and they have so they're like more akin to godliness than low people are. What? So, so it's, isn't that it, the opposite of what it says in the Bible? It's like, well, I don't know about that, but catechism, you know, is like it's the teachings of the church. It's their fucking interpretation, and actually, they're only allowed. They're the only ones allowed to interpret the Bible. So it's almost oh, like it's as if subjugation and the yeah. artificial social order were always the aims. Yeah, so <laughs> weird, imagine that. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. Where did yeah, that yeah. Come there's from? definitely like instilled the uh, you know submission towards authority and all this. So, yeah. so it's no wonder that people are like, well, the priest was diddling kids, but you know he was still a nice guy, and also he had the suit. Uh, he uh, you know he came in with the little broom, <laughs> with throwing the, the holy broom. water around. I mean, Jesus. I shouldn't have said diddling kids. That's such an awful <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know where I got that. You that's made like it an, fun. That's like, an American. Yeah, it, was good. it was anything but fun. It's definitely like an American comedy thing. I got it from somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing about Americans. They try to make everything like slightly more fun, entertaining, <laughs> kind of cozy. It's kind of true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I prefer the gin stories to the diddling kids stories. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I got too real. Mm. Uh, no, fiddling, no, no, no. kiddie fiddler would be the British expression. Fiddling? Kiddie fiddler? Kiddie fiddler. 
Yeah. Oh, he's, a, fu- he's a fucking nonce. That <laughs> fucking kiddie fiddler. <laughs> I want him around here. <laughs> fucking, he used to move out. Yeah. Don't want that kind around here. <laughs> fucking nonce. Does, I forgot what nonce does, means, but that's a very fun word. Nonce. N O N C E. Is it like faggot? It's a very interesting root that I forgot. Is it like nonsense? No, no. It's for pedophiles. Oh, no. really? Oh, I thought it was homophobic. Nuns. Oh, maybe. Um, but that, obviously the two are connected and linguistically, so a lot of times culture. Uh, I like the I UK slang, numpty. Oh, you fucking numpty? numpty? No, no, no. It's, it's <laughs> Is actually that like dummy? Or? Or like a dummy, For prison, because you know pedophiles, kind of regardless of country, they get fucked up in prison, right? By yeah. other prisoners, because they see themselves as morally superior because wait, 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 they wait, wait. robbed people instead of raping them. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah but, so nonce yeah. is actually a shorthand for not on normal communal exercise. So in prison, you're not on oh. normal communal exercise with other prisoners so like, because you'll get stabbed. So you're a fucking nonce. Yeah, but like... That's uh, hilarious. That's I do... I'd say like, you get insulted because you need to be protected from the yeah. other prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right, right. it's actually yeah. a word that came straight from prison. Yeah, I mean, right. I'm, I'm all for it then. Like, fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if you yeah. just, like, hijacked a car or something, and you didn't yeah. kill anyone, and you went to jail, or there's, like, a guy who fucks kids, like, yeah, yeah. clearly, you do, you actually have moral, like, sure. ground. So, so, yeah, you're, sure, but... so you're not in, actually into, like, uh, justice. You just prefer hanging for uh, entertainment. <laughs> Is that what, yeah, vigilantism. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people yeah. are into that, yeah. <laughs> Cut his fucking balls off, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cut his balls yeah. off. To be honest, I don't feel anyway. I feel like what's happening is all right. They go to prison. They get stabbed sometimes. Sometimes they don't. What do I give a fuck? You know, you're just straight up. What's that word? Yeah. I, Nihilist? There's, there's nothing <laughs> I can say after that because it's going to sound like I'm defending pedophilia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <don't. laughs> it's like, even if I was like, yeah, you know, I believe in prisoners' rights and stuff, but... <laughs> but, but then nice, if you, come on. But if you put Kitty Fiddler before it, I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. not, I can't really say anything. Kitty Fiddler sounds like a fun guy, like you would have a bagpipe or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. He'd be like dancing around. Exactly. The kids follow him like the rats in the old Yes, show. yes, he's a Kitty Fiddler. <laughs> Wait, wasn't care. that the Pied Piper was actually about a pedophile exactly it was so scary it was was it i think the I, original one was it like, was about rats. it did have to do it was rats but yeah it was kids following him but did yeah. that followed him but it wasn't wh- no he didn't rape the kids no eventually actually, it was it was left to interpretation know. like the ending of sopranos <laughs> 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 no i think exactly. i think maybe it was just to scare children but i don't know if there's anything about sexual abuse i have no idea i, I don't know yeah. the children never like returned in that story right yeah, yeah. i think I think that's the idea. Exactly. Yeah. You got to fiddle them, then. I, I mean, the, <laughs> I mean, if you have a hundred children, you got a hundred kids. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it. Yalla. You take them to the woods. You have a hundred of them. What are you gonna not fiddle with them? You're just gonna flute around like yeah. a goof. Fuck that. All you have is a flute and a bunch of rats. Eminem is just gonna show up. You only got one shot. <laughs> what? It was rats. It was rats. I think, yeah, yeah, it might have been both, or maybe they changed it later. I don't know. The original, like, old tales are always worse than the, like, the subsequent Disney version or whatever. Like, the Hunchback of Notre Dame is fucking awful. The Mm -hmm. Little Mermaid is, like, really, really weird. Yeah, it's fucking Cinderella. It's It's all kinds of fucked up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, mermaids were not positive things in mythology. They would (laughs) would seduce to crash with their song. Mm. That's sirens. That's different. Stand on the same thing. But they have like fish tails, right? I mean, half bitch, half fish. I mean, it was all the same thing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but mermaids were probably also some fucked up shit. Yeah, they had all of them had HIV or some shit. (laughs) I actually heard something so stupid where, like, the it's kind of like a mirage where they saw like a fish and thought it was a woman because they just didn't see women for a long time. Oh yeah, and the thing that they thought they saw was like a manatee which is just a big sea cow oh yeah i heard that <laughs> just like a big cow looking thing in and the they sea. were like, Ooh, and they're like lady <laughs> <laughs> that manatee looking thick yeah. <laughs> like, i you bugger get you know, so <laughs> do you know what would be good to face fuck a catfish you grab the whiskers <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, why would oh. you do that <laughs> just to put an image of face fucking yeah. a catfish in your brain oh, oh geez that has to be a category on pornhub somewhere Wait, Fucking, is, yeah, bestiality. Yeah, that's is there true. anything like like that, like in uh, Islam, where it's like uh, fish, like 
Fish people? <laughs> it's the Aquaman in Islam. <laughs> yeah, tell me more cool there's stories. There's Dr. Doolittle in Islam, right? You told me there's Dr. Doolittle. What's Dr. Doolittle? A guy who could speak to animals. Was there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was. He was a prophet. Okay, he's not oh. Dr. Doolittle. They did Dr. Doolittle <laughs> no, no, after him. He told me about it. He was like, yeah, Dr. Doolittle like, is oh, a prophet. We had a, we had a prophet that could talk to animals. I was like, yeah, I saw that movie with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if Eddie Murphy was a prophet. <laughs> and so there's like a guy who could talk to animals. A prophet, yeah. Was there others? <laughs> it's like a fucking magical Fantastic Five. Exactly. Like, sorry, I, I mean no disrespect, but it's so much fun also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You should, there's like all of the, most of the prophets before, um, I think Muhammad was the only prophet who didn't have like. Superpowers. Superpowers. Even though he saw an angel, which is like. I don't know if that's a superpower, but whatever. Oh, there's a story. Okay, this is going to might get me chopped off in Saudi Arabia if I say it. <laughs> okay. But it is it is what I heard when okay. I was a kid, okay? Mm-hmm. So, believe me or not, this may not be correct at all. Gotcha. Or might be, okay? Gotcha. I don't care. I really don't care. So, uh, there was a story about him um, picking, getting on a horse, which was a white uh, horse with wings and uh, a the horn. Unicorn. A unicorn, exactly, and he rode that unicorn straight up to the seven heavens, the seven skies of heaven. He spoke with God, right? Mm-hmm. And he was he... like, "What, God, my G, you bless." <laughs> <laughs> he spoke with him, and then um, he just decreased our um, the, taxes. Like, Ta- exa- kind of. Ta- <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Kind of, yeah. That's just bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Like, not financial taxes, but like how much we're going to have to pray. Oh, how much okay, we're going to have to do that. It used he to was be eight like, times a day. Tithing. It time. used to be a lot. But now he was like, oh, let's make it to five. And he was like, God Progressive was like, reform. Yeah, he was like, I, I don't even notice you guys. I don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, there's a human? Yeah, oh, my God. You guys are praying? What's happening? Yeah. When I was busy I'm just in the universe. <laughs> yeah, and then he rode back the horse and he went back home. Okay. Yeah, and he cool. split the moon was in there... half, which you can Google that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he Google split? Google that. He split the moon in half. Yeah. The moon at once was <laughs> like a like a fucking what's his name Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack on my Lumpty. Whatever. <laughs> that's, on my lumpty. And he's just, that's exactly and he's just, how it goes. Yeah. yeah fucking Numpty. And he just <laughs> the moon cracked, and then he was like, okay, uh, I don't want it, and it just got back together. So the moon did it itself. Going back yeah, to and if, if you shit. Google it, you will see in the in the Wikipedia page it will show you uh, the the signs of the crack in the moon. Oh, of course, it's not signs ah, yes. of the thousands of years, <laughs> hundreds of thousands of years, and millions of years of how Erosion the moon was it. always gang banged by right, asteroids. Right. And do you know how it cracked? How? Because it's made of fucking cheese. Ah. <laughs> Cheese. Half, yeah. Swiss cheese You can't trust it yeah. And I honestly I just want the Like I Like the story But I mean no Like making fun Of the religion oh, Or something no, no. It's just It's interesting to know I don't know any of those stories Yeah we all. have a lot of stories Every single prophet had Something Superpowers And they lived for Hundreds If not thousands of years Just like they say Adam and Eve Lived for like Thousands and years Of yeah. years yeah. Well I guess like Judaism has like Moses split the seas and shit like that, and yeah, even in the went Bible. up to <laughs> like a, he had to go away in order to get the tablet, and then come back with like ten commandments. He that... went to like the mountain or something, right? Yeah. I don't remember how. Yeah, he yeah. went to the mountain, but like then no one saw it, and he's just like up there, like yeah, yeah, away. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> there's always a guy like that in like religious origin stories. Is like he went to, and then he spoke to God, but, yeah. no, but nobody was <laughs> nobody there. Was there. Yeah. There were no witnesses, but it's like, it totally from God. Yeah, you guys are like, yeah, these stone tablets. It says, uh, you can't fuck my wife. It says, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta, Joe, you hear me? You can't yeah. you gotta stop fucking my wife. It says, God said so. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally, like, yeah. seven out of the ten commandments are just like, like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, but I think Carlin. You can't did talk a... bad about your dad. See, son, you can't. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. shit like that. It's like, don't talk bad about your dad. Uh, like yeah, respect literally, your parents. Respect your parents. Don't covet thy neighbor's ox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their possessions like and the and, and they're like and rape, their wife, but not, like <laughs> rape, goes, not on it. Yeah. No, you can rape all you want. <laughs> Slavery, yeah. nothing. Well, I guess that it. goes to undercover the, the neighbor's wife, right? But but it's cool that that's secondary uh, yeah, after uh, covered the neighbor's ox, and then wife is like, and also my wife. <laughs> 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 Don't touch my furniture or my wife. <laughs> 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 and it's like 
God said this? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs>